in one of my books and that's this book schematics 3 I made on page 19 a radioactivity detector and I made this circuit and it works etc etc and here is the schematic and in fact the whole idea is that we make here a high voltage and here is the tube that detects um, particles, ionized particles, uh, alpha, beta or gamma particles and when uh, there is ionization between the, these two electrodes uh, the uh, speaker the amplifier here uh, gives out a signal and it say gives a kind of click circuit and the whole issue about uh, detecting uh, radioactive um, particles or waveforms, waves, is in this way that there is ionization between two uh, electrodes in a tube. And the interesting thing is that in the past I used a tube that was made for that purpose, but I have found on a flea market uh, this beautiful book and this book is all about it's a source book on atomic energy it's from the 1950s 1958 but the interesting thing is that uh, I found in that book also uh, in a certain way a comparable circuit Though uh, my knowledge when I made this circuit was not so far and by reading this book, this beautiful old book, Measurement of Re Nuclear Re Radiations, I found that uh, there was more to tell. So anyway, I cannot uh, give uh, a direct view to this book because it's copyrighted but on the other hand uh, no problem at all so we, kn we know of course uh, when we are talking about radioactive particles or, or radioactive radiation there is alpha, beta and gamma radiation I also found that in this book and the alpha uh, part of the radiation is um, uh, usable uh, makes that we can get ionization between two uh, charged poles and here it is the, the tube here and the wire inside here and there is a certain distance and in that case when we add say a high voltage here via this circuit and an alpha particle enters here this tube makes that there is ionization and what I learned from this old book is that it's not only ionization but uh, there are two ion pairs that are generated and travel. So one ion travels to the, uh, the tube here, the outer side of the tube, and the other ion uh, travels here to the wire. And that makes that ionization. But anyway, it's ionization uh, and here we can detect that. That's very simple, of course. There's a static charge here. A high voltage battery. That was also interesting. 
uh, in this book I found that, for instance, with voltages between 500 volts and 800 volts, you could detect um, alpha particles. That was interesting. So, uh, of course, in such a case, when you want to detect an alpha particle and want to uh, detect that uh, not only in a pulse way, so not only pulses, but kind of uh, integration circuit. So, an, uh, you need, for instance, to close this switch. In that case, when uh, different alpha particles uh, enter your tube, you get a kind of overview in this voltmeter. That's completely logical. But when you want to count pulses, open the switch and there must here be a capacitor. And of course, when a charged particle enters that tube, gives ionization, it will give out a pulse. So that's more or less all to tell. Uh, I want to do more experiments with that, but of course that will take a lot of time. The interesting thing, however, was that with this beautiful book I could get more insight in how to detect ionized particles. And of course we know uh, from space and uh, everywhere there, are, there could be many other particles that are very very fierce uh, in their charge and in their voltage. That of course depends but anyway say muons from uh, the outer space, etc., etc., and they can, in a certain way, ionize this and uh, make the counter move, so that you have a certain um, pulse detected. That's a very interesting option. Uh, more things to do, more experiments to do. And thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat. This was also very interesting. There is, say, a kind of uh, graph here showed that uh, there are uh, two or three or four sections when you say lift up the voltage here between the these two electrodes so the tube and the wire inside uh, so certain charged particles are visible here in this part of the graph but other uh, more or less um, uh, particles with a higher energy are found here when you use this circuit. And here we have a kind of breakdown voltage. Say where the, uh, the tube here acting as a kind of condenser, con condensator, uh, breaks down and uh, gives a, a totally other kind of counting of the charged particles. That has everything to do with the charge of the particle, alpha, beta or gamma, etc. So, anyway, I hope this was enough. This is in fact not my cup of tea, but I'm very interested and always want to do more experiments and especially here I want to do experiments and I know of course on the World Wide Web there are many websites where um, they tell how to make a counter 
for radioactive particles uh, in all kinds of ways. Schematics are showed, um, uh, pickup circuits are showed with op amps or transistors, but anyway, I want to I only want to wanted to show say the bare things about such a circuit. Wish you luck.